It's the 50th episode of Inspector Josh Investigates TV! Hello, I'm Josh Paulson, and this is Inspector Josh Investigates TV, where we reverse engineer TV shows to draw story writing lessons from them. Today we're going to look at Community, Season 1, Episode 2, titled Spanish 101. Warning, spoilers for this episode are ahead. The lesson for today is a comedy technique. Ask what wouldn't happen. I'll explain more of what that means later, but here's why it matters. Comedy is about truth. Sometimes comedy focuses in on truth by being brutally honest, but other times it focuses in on truth by showing something so ridiculous and contrary to truth that it's so obviously outrageous. Either way, it can put the light on the truth. And the reason why this matters? Because sometimes we want to make something funny. So here's how this technique works. Now the goal is not to break characters. But in developing characters, we can think of something out of the ordinary, or even opposite of how most people work, and give our characters those traits. Here's how it's shown in this episode of Community. We have the Spanish teacher's defensiveness about teaching Spanish. It's hilarious. The skit Jeff and Pierce throw at the end. It's outrageous and awful and how most people would not handle the situation. We have the setup and development of the protest. It's incredibly insensitive in its development and how most people would not handle this. Again, the goal that we are talking about isn't to break characters, but we do ask what would most people not do? What wouldn't happen? And this is how we come up with some comedic situations. By developing outrageous characters, we can come up with crazy things they'd do. On the other hand, when we are beginning story development, we can brainstorm really crazy events and then brainstorm characters who could do those things. Here's how you can apply it in your own stories. When you have a situation, ask how people wouldn't respond in those situations. But you still want this to work with characters. So what makes outrageous characters really work isn't that they do outrageous things. They have to have reasons for them. So if you have characters do impractical, illogical things with practical, logical-sounding reasons, you get a lot more punch. So let's say that a character has a fire. Their house is on fire. Most people would find water or a fire extinguisher. Likely, they would just call the fire department first thing. Depends on the setting and all of that. But what wouldn't happen? Well, they probably wouldn't try to open the nearby fire hydrant themselves. So your character could try to take matters into their own hand as such. Maybe they take a pickaxe and try to burst a hole in the nearby hydrant towards the house so that it'll help out until the firemen come by. Or maybe a high school student needs to have an interview with a famous person. Who wouldn't they interview? Well, Santa Claus. So they go to the mall and get an interview with Santa. Now, it might just be weird if their motive is that they believe Santa is real, although this is a possibility. This is just brainstorming stage, though. So maybe they hate the class and the teacher and are doing this as a snarky gotcha to get on the teacher's nerves. Or maybe your character has a magical pouch that has infinite room inside. So, you know, I mean, maybe normally they'd be filling it with magical weapons or with gold or with valuables. But what wouldn't they put in it? Well... Maybe, instead of all of these valuables, they have their chocolate stash in there. They could have used it for all sorts of other cool things, but no, it's just their chocolate stash. And they got a lot of chocolate. Basically, you can look at the situation and then ask what most people wouldn't do. Now, you have to keep characters consistent. If you break characters, your audience won't be able to really connect with them anymore. So keep characters consistent, just make some crazy characters, and develop crazy situations for your comedic story. With that, I'd say... Case 50 closed. Thank you so much for listening. We'll be back with another episode next Monday. You can follow me on Twitter at Josh Paulison or check out my website, joshpaulison.com. Let me know what awesome stuff you're up to as well at joshuapaulison at gmail.com. Have a fantastic day, guys. Bye.